Hello oh, hey guys, Johnny here. I've got to give a shout out to Who T Who for the inspiration on this video. He was shooting baseballs comparing three forty five seventy rounds. The Winchester jacketed hollow point three hundred green bullet. The three hundred and twenty five grain Hornady lever revolution. And the HSC on 405 grain cowboy action leg. And they had interesting results. So, since I shoot traditional 4570, what I mean by that is black powder. I thought I would shoot the softball from 25 yards away with a 500 grain spitzer bullet loaded with a compressed charge of 70 grains of old Ensford 2F powder CCI large rifle magnum primers and just kinda compare my results to his like I said I'll be in this white chair over here about 25 yards away Hopefully I can hit it, because I don't like to shoot one-handed. I don't have a tripod yet. <laughs> I'm not a rich person by far. This is the bullet I'll be using, or cartridge. It's a 500 grain hand cast spitzer. With a compressed charge of 70 grains. Of old Ensford 2F black powder. CCI large magnum, large rifle magnum primers. The rifle, of course, is my 1873 Springfield trapdoor. And I don't know if y'all can see the softball from here or not. I took down my gong from a rifle shoot, and I'll explain that in another video. Let me get set up. Hopefully I can hit it. I'm shooting basically one-handed here. Well, I don't know if I hit the ball or the can under it, but I definitely hit something. <laughs> Let's go check it out. See what happens. Okay, so I had similar results to his uh, HSM cowboy load. It entered here and it exited here. Which it was a spitzer bullet, it wasn't, it was pointy, it didn't have a wide met plate. I did find a, uh, a regular baseball too. I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, fell down. Got the baseball on there. Hopefully, it'll stay up. I'm gonna go back to my shooting spot. Same bullet, same cartridge. See what it does to a regular old hard baseball. Using the same type of cartridge, 500 grain Spitzer. 70 grains compressed old Ensford powder. And again, my original 1873 trapdoor. I don't know if y'all can see it out there, but there is a baseball on top of that Pringles can. Let's see if I can get set up here and give it a shot. I don't know if I'm hit it or not, we'll see. I hit it or the can one, I think. It all ends for it doesn't smoke quite as bad as regular black or well, regular go X but they say it's real black powder. Go up here and see if I hit it. 
I'm going to have to take another shot and grease the side. Sorry for all the shaking. Sorry. Well, that was dumb. Yep, I cocked the hammer back. <laughs> okay. Take one more, I think. <laughs> I'm not doing too good. I hit the Pringles can below it. <laughs> Having a low aim low with these battle sites. Try it again. <laughs> I think I got it that time. You guys see. Not the same results as the HSM 405s. There's the entry. There's the exit. Maybe a little bit bigger exit than his HSM 405s. I didn't hit exactly square on, but that's close enough considering I'm using battle sights at 25 yards. This is the softball, which is a little bit softer than a regular baseball. Entry, exit, then there's the baseball, entry, and exit. I wouldn't want to be hit with either one of them. Thank you uh, to Hootie Who for inspiring this video. And uh, this is uh, Joni, the Ruger Old Army Girl, over and out.